Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we are back with more Vintage Story today. This is my very first playthrough of the game and we are on episode 19 of this series. Now if you're new, I've got a link to the full playlist down in the description. Also the game page is linked down there, it's not on Steam but the developer's website as well as itch.io page are all down in the description for you so check those out. Now I've also been doing some live streams for this one, in fact I just did one so if you check the playlist if you've been following just the edited videos you've got about three hours of content since the last episode in this one like I said we did a live stream also if you're curious about my live streams when I'm doing them the schedule what we'll be playing it's in the community page of my YouTube channel so it's a couple clicks away but either way you can see I'm staring here at this empty room because as soon as I turn around you're gonna notice some pretty big changes to the house now like i said we did a full live stream for three hours and we got a lot accomplished so let's check that out right now and see what's new okay maybe not too much apparent at first except oh what's this over here we've got some shelves put in i've got all my crock pots up off the floor and over here we've made ourselves a clay oven i haven't fired this up yet this was one of the last things i did during the stream but you'll know many of you veteran players then in order to make shelves you need boards and boards require a saw blade which means that yes we did get some smelting done still a little bit early we're gonna let the light level increase a bit then we'll go out there and take a look but let me have a little meal oh delicious so also just to keep you caught up we are on to november 3rd right now so it's actually snowy out there you can see we got snow on the ground and stuff oh look i can make snowballs <laughs> didn't even know that no way we can boom look at that okay i love it well either way we'll worry about the snow later like i said we got a bit more to look at so boards boards a plenty folks look at this i've got quite a few boards made up i did some resource collecting cut down a few trees but i still am short on sticks <laughs> although hopefully that'll be a thing a problem of the past here in a little while but i've got my one single book here on some bookshelves right above the bed hope it doesn't fall off during the night and kill me but over here you'll notice some wonderful wooden trunks guys these are a huge addition to our storage Yes, yes, yes. So, in fact, one of these was able to hold two full storage vessels, plus it probably had enough to hold three, to be honest. I didn't try three of them, but I was able to move two of these storage vessels below. In fact, that's probably something I'll be working on today. It's just sorting out some stuff right now i'm just randomly throwing stuff into these chests to get it all you know put away nice and easy but we will sort through them also some of the chatters during the live stream recommended these crates which are phenomenal they only hold one thing like one type like you can see i've got low fertility soil in this one but it'll hold like immense amounts of it so i could put stacks and stacks of low fertility in here and then just grabbing it as simple as hit and shift and putting it back in there all at once or one at a time really helpful and i'm pretty sure we can we can stack these to the ceiling so i could keep wood dirt you know planks <laughs> although obviously the planks are nicely stacked like that so storage is coming along great and of course the big you know clay containers they got moved down here and with the with boards comes the door there it is and we did test it during the live stream it does work this door does preserve the foods in here well that one's empty yeah so we've got the crock pot for 3.7 and the berries and stuff are good for six days one day for the meat yeah we'll worry about that later i'm actually not opposed to getting rot at the moment because of course rot can be used for making compost or terra firma and let's peek outside looks a little nicer out here and where are they at i did make a couple of barrels so we're 
trying to fill this up with rot right now and then we'll seal it up and let it just work its thing but here we are folks the beautiful the wonderful copper anvil oh look at it all its glory so of course if you're unfamiliar you can do some of the basic stuff in molds like this you can pour it directly from your crucible the hot molten copper into these and you can make hammers and ch uh, picks and stuff but some of the more advanced stuff like the saw and nails things like that have to be made with ingots like these right here on the anvil so we'll heat it up here using some of the charcoal that i've accumulated or created and yeah we're gonna go through that too there's a few things i need to whip up today and as you might have noticed i've got a small stack of copper nuggets here in fact we went on a little mining spree during the live stream actually got to use the prospecting pick which is inside i've got all my tools in here there it is so yeah we used the prospecting pick it was very helpful and of course we'll be using that a lot more going forward i'm gonna grab the shears let's go ahead i'm i think i will take the uh what's it called here the scythe i know it said i want to save this but now that we've got an anvil i think i'm safe to go ahead and um take it and just break it and we'll make another one but um you can see here i've also got my spears put away that's because we crafted up the simple bow now there's better bows and i need to start working on those because apparently it takes like 20 days for the wood to cure but we'll get to that of course but this is amazing so i've got 10 arrows now some copper some flint and we're going to try our hand at some archery of course it's winter so hunting's going to be pretty sparse but we did see a bear or two recently so you never know but first things first i do need grass well i should say uh, what's it called uh straw okay good we still get straw with the scythe during the snow i wasn't sure about that i like it too it actually clears the snow uh well we've already gotten more uses out of the scythe than i thought we would but this thing's probably gonna break soon so i'm just gonna do some resource gathering guys and as you can see i've done some minor detailing to the house exterior these are debarked birch logs here so yeah i don't love it though it needs a deeper contrast it looks too similar to the light clay brick there so if i moved away far enough you would almost not even know there's two different you know blocks there so we're just testing things out figuring how it works you know oh and i should mention i was trying to like right click it like you do in minecraft but that's not what you do you put a hammer a, an axe and then the logs in the crafting menu and then boom it spits out debarked birch but or whatever you know flavor of wood so there we go guys that's the intro for now it's a long one but like i said i've got a little bit of resource gathering to do specifically branches for sure and then we're going to get to some more smelting tool creation and i don't know what else we'll see what vintage story throws at us oh boy well i guess that bears and vintage story don't actually hibernate for the winter because he is just asleep right there curled up almost walked into him but there's our base there he is i am tempted i'm very tempted guys uh man i came out here just to cut grass and collect branches and this guy's in my way you know the thing is I better, I don't know how to not shoot my bow when I've already drawn it, but I should probably go ahead and grab a few spears if we're going to take them on too. I've got 10 arrows, but they're very hard to see. And I don't know what happens when they actually hit him. Do they stick in his body, you know, or, and so like, can I not get him back? I'm not, I'm not sure, but we'll grab these. There's, oops, um, a lot of them are pretty damaged, but damn it. Oh, I need the empty space. There we go. All right. So we're going to try with the bow first. We'll take them out with a little barrage. Now, I imagine that, of course, the bronze arrows do more than the flint, but I don't even know how to control which one it shoots. Oh, see, that just went right through them. There we go. What the? 
All right, I've wasted like half my arrows. There's one. A little bit hard to see, especially with these flowers. Come on, buddy. Okay, how do I not shoot it, though? Um, come here, come here, come here. Gotcha. All right, there, there, there's two. They're kind of just drop wherever he's hit. Oh, come on. What the hell was that? I don't think he's, like, as hittable as he looks when he stands up like that. Oh, you be. Yeah, when he stands up, it's not worth really shooting at him. I've had stuff go right through him before. Okay, how many are we down to? Three. Got him. Twice. This is definitely good. I like this bow. Oh, come on. It's going to be hard to find the arrows, though. Oh, and another thing, too, is I'm basically out of feathers. I didn't do enough chicken hunting early in the game. All right, I think we're down to spears. Nice. Oh, that was way off. He is still just as hard to kill as ever. But... Yeah, he's pretty much a coward. I mean, you can see he's only come at me one time, truly enough to actually swipe me. Whoops, just ducked out of the way that time. Yeah, it's really easier if you just kind of don't panic, stand still. To come back here, dude, you're not getting out of this. Oh my god. Is that a second one? No, that's still the same one. All right, you got to be kidding. How is he not dead yet? Oh, I just lost my last spear. Where is he? There could be wolves over here. Oh, nice. Oh, thank God. All right. Uh, we got birch leaves in the way. Let's get this harvested. Get out of here. I'm actually going to leave his bones because I don't, well, maybe not. We do kind of want them to respawn, don't we? They're not that big of a threat. As long as you notice them without, you know, like walking into it. But hell, I didn't even take a single hit that fight, so we're okay. Let's see here. Good kill, good kill. Should, whoa, should probably get that meat on the fire, though, so... It'll be cooking, ready for us. That's good. That'll actually help us, you know, keep going through the winter. We don't have to worry about breaking into our crock pots just quite as early. All right. Well, I've done some serious stick gathering here. I've got one full stack plus another one that's almost full. I've also got some building materials, but we'll get to that in a moment. I'm trying to keep things as clean and organized as possible. These tool racks really do help. My shears are up here now. We got a chisel up there. We got our tongs, which we're going to be using in a moment. Now, here's my current charcoal collection. I need to figure out some way of sealing it in. I tried fencing, but it doesn't work great because if you stack it too tall, it starts to slip out and spread everywhere. It's a little bit annoying, but I've also kind of altered this. So this is actually the charcoal pit. I'm noticing that it's not smoking right now, which means, yep, we've got another batch of charcoal ready to go. So we can kind of dig this out. You can see what I've done back. Let me throw down a torch because it is very dark right now. Starting to get to evening, but we'll light some torches out here. So I'm not worried. Okay, you know what? There actually was a portal... I think over there-ish. We'll see. We'll see. If we start to hear groaning, we'll run inside. But right now, we might be safe. So, yeah. I kind of just dug this into the ground a little bit. So, it's just easier to access it. Oh, okay. So, my shovel just broke. But um, you can see I've got plenty of charcoal. And this will be fine back here. I might just get buried with snow. But that's not the end of the world. Let me grab this. Uh, come on. Oh, I have to break the torches. That's right. All right, come with me, sir. We're going to light a couple of you. There we go, because we are about to get our forge lit. Well, not the forge, but we will. Hopefully, we're going to get some smelting done. So, I've got all 
of the copper I own. I think I need an open hand. Yeah. All the copper is right here in the crucible. Got a little bit of our last like native coal in there, that black coal. So we're going to get started with that. Then I'll have to switch in some charcoal. There we go. So yeah, everything else in here. I've got some quartz. Oh, let's make some glass with that. Yeah, yeah. I did learn the recipe for it. So the low fertility soil. I think I'm going to keep that in here. Boom. That way I can build over this again in the future. But um, also I need to replace the storage vessel with a chest. That's going to be, that's actually the last storage vessel. I did a little bit of moving too. And now the cellar is looking really good. Let's go down there real quick while we wait for that to heat up. I need to make sure to change out that charcoal, but yeah, so I've got almost every storage vessel except for that one we were just looking at. It's now down here. The other cellar still has all my crock pots in it, the full ones, but as I eat those or replace them with full ones, they're going to go in here now, of course, and I can keep them inside the storage vessels since I've got plenty of space now. You can see I'm starting to kind of separate stuff. I think I'm just going to grab that. Maybe we'll cook that. That one's good for two years. That's a relatively new one. Vegetables over here. I got my seeds over here. And I realize seeds don't need to go in here. But um, I'm going to move those upstairs close to the farm. I think I'll put them in some of these baskets over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and also one great thing. I've got my pack dirt up here, but down here I've got 660 sandstones from all the mining that we've been doing. So those crates are pretty awesome. So anyway, let's see this thing. Yeah, okay, it needs more charcoal. Sorry, I can grab a little bit. There we go. Did we get some? Yeah, we got 16. That should be more than enough. Keep it going. Beautiful. So it's still nice and warm. It's heating up. You can see... Needs to get to like 1200 degrees, which it'll be fine. So let's do, I think it was, oh, I need my sticks. There they are. Uh, and I just, I'm throwing everything around. Okay, so I think it was like this. Or maybe like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. We'll do... Hold on. Easier if I just start over, I think. Gotcha, darn it. Okay, there we go. Just struggling a little bit with it, but that's all the quartz I've got, so it's not going to be a lot of glass. But Well, that's not true. I do have other quartz, but it's of a different variety, so I need to make sure to make another shovel or two. Anyway, so we're going to have to make a hammer, no doubt about it, because my copper hammer you can see is almost broken and I need another pickaxe as a backup but in fact let me put that hammer away yeah other than that though every bit of remaining copper is going to go into the ingot molds here and we'll be using them to probably hammer out some more nails and uh, strips which of course okay these are heating up we're getting there we're getting there just takes a little bit of time so the reason I brought the building materials here is because I really want to make this outdoor section an indoor room you know and I think we can do it I might be short some materials but that's why I brought the packed dirt um, actually, let me whip up some more sandstone cobble. I certainly have enough sandstone for it. Okay, that's better. A little bit more. A little bit more. Don't want to use up all my clay, though. So, I think at first things first, let's just start with the roof. And I'm going to bring it over. I think we'll start from this point. I don't want to know exactly whoops, what I want to do, but... You know, and in fact, I almost think maybe we should go up a level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. So let me grab my dirt. So we're going to have to delete a little bit of this, but that's okay. One more level. Come on, give it to me. Uh, okay, there we go. So we'll go up a level here. Perfect. So I'm going to knock out a few blocks real quick. Probably should get my pickaxe for this, but no, I'm not going to waste our ability on that. We can knock these out with our fists. It just takes a little bit of time. Okay, well, there it is. I've got that first piece, but taking a look over here, this thing is white hot now, so we're ready to pour. 
Let me grab my tongs, put those in our offhand so we don't burn ourselves. I'm gonna grab the charcoal too, so we don't waste that. Now, like I said, first things first, we wanna pour this till it's full. It's gonna be pretty slim. This is the last copper we've got, so I'm not sure what's left in our crucible, but we hopefully get another ingot or two out of this. Okay, there's a hundred, beautiful. Any more? A little bit, a little bit. A hundred, how about one more? Come on, baby. Yes. All right, well, that's actually all the molds I've got. So let's put this back in here real quick. What's it got in it? 169 left. Not bad. So it can, it's safe to cool down at this point. Um, you know, I do have this Falks Blade mold, which I've never built one of. But I'm also a little nervous. I don't want to be wasting very precious the last of my copper. So I'll save that. Maybe if we need one more ingot, you know. So anyway, these need to cool. Of course, they're red hot still. We can build now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to build up the roof, as I said, one higher. Now, at some point, I will probably go across the regular house structure and just lift the roof up you know we'll we'll match this height overall there's nothing wrong with going a little bit higher plus i think it was recommended by a commenter to do that so boom put that right there kind of follow continuity with the wall oh in fact yeah i missed this one. Oh, oh did i oh can't step on the red hot ingots this game's very realistic, guys. The realism will shock you, but in a good way, in a good way. All right, there's that. Might as well end it right here. I won't bother with the corner yet. We'll figure something out. It's going to look a little funky right now, but yeah, we'll worry about that later. Ah, it's such a beautiful evening. Look at the stars out, guys. They twinkle, and they're different colors. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah, it's peaceful. When there's no weird, creepy stuff. Got a rabbit out there in the distance. Probably some wolves sleeping over there in the woods. Bear somewhere. Uh, anyway, so... Still didn't make a shovel, did I? No worries. Let's just dig our knife. Get this packed dirt out of the way. Now, the question is, how far do we want to build this roof? Um, I guess we'll, we'll continue. It's going to be a lot of material and I definitely won't be able to finish all this, even with the packed dirt I've got, but at the very least I can start to get a roof over part of it, you know? So this is looking cool. I like this so far and we've even got like this third section over here can be another just utility room, something. I don't know. We'll see. I might eventually move this stuff. Yeah, I might see... Um, I'm just thinking. No worries. We'll worry about that later. Let's get this done. All right. So it's a little bit dark and there's not much to see. I'm just going to continue to go across and build up the roof. But as soon as those have cooled, we'll assemble the stuff and, of course, hammer out some uh, nuggets together. Well, in order to get some more materials for the back side of the house, I decided to put a hole in the wall, but we are going to fill it with some beautiful glass. So let's see what this looks like. Ah, uh, that's not bad. I mean, there is clear stuff. Yeah, that's, I'm sure it'll look a lot better in the daytime, but interesting. I think I could throw in like two more pieces here just to use it up, but I might wait and save it, see if we can't get another couple pieces, put four over there so it's symmetrical, or maybe even do the whole piece in windows eventually, but yeah, that's good for now. I think I'll also move my bed over here underneath the window, because this room is supposed to be truly for storage and stuff, and I'll put like another bookshelf right there so it looks like a nice single piece, but it's coming together, it's coming together over there. And this is probably temporary here, since we're going to have so much room in the back now. I could probably make my own little bedroom, but now we'll sleep next to the window. I hope it's not too chilly. Let's see. Okay, that's probably going to rot, but that's fine. So here's what the progress I made. Like I said, I did start to run out of materials. 
but if we come over you can start to see with the torch this is basically where i'm going to go to here so i can oops sorry it's impossible to see when i don't have my torch we'll probably fill this section in now and we're going to incorporate this this will be inside the house there we go maybe we'll have a nice little skylight or something i don't know but that won't help with smoke although indoor smoke isn't a factor so it's not a big deal but charcoal pit will be basically the edge and th these will be taken out these little overhangs these are only here for the roof to protect it from rain and stuff so once we get our roof in i can move these around probably push them right up against the wall or something you know our forges we can centralize it but anyway the exciting news is we've got some cold molds here they are ready to go so easy parts i think actually i was gonna say let me empty out my inventory but we're fine i will put that away all right so we've got ourselves a hammer piece and that let's grab some sticks whip those up real quick because we are definitely going to need the hammer of course the pickaxe we'll need that later too once we get out there and we're gonna have to make mining a big priority now yeah we're gonna have to do some expeditions try and repair some of my clothing bring some food with us you know maybe some less perishable stuff but yeah we've got to find more ore not right this second though so what we're gonna do let's go ahead and grab that hammer and i'm gonna put that pick away we're just gonna use this hammer till it breaks then we've got the replacement okay i can see i'm also very hungry so let's come back in for a second Still plenty of food. No need to worry. Pour out a little bit more. All right. In the empty crocs, they go on the shelves up there. <laughs> Love it. I made probably a little bit more shelving than I needed, but then again, maybe not. I've also got my bowls over here, too. It's hard to see them. There's two bowls right there. Um, okay. So we can grab our ingots now. And I really want to do something different with this. Maybe I should just, I'm just going to line them up over here. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying because they do burn me too. When I was walking across those, they were burning me and stuff. So that's not smart. Anyway, so what we have to do now is boom, 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 boom. Now there is a layer of charcoal in the bottom I already put. So we can, oops, oh, no, that's not going to work. I need to crouch when I start the fire. Duh, I knew that. All right, so we'll get this going. Now, I've been informed that it's better to just put one layer of charcoal, which is all I did, and just continually feed it as needed, essentially. So, actually, I'll come back over here, grab a little bit of that charcoal. So, it's, it's a bit, it can be wasteful, you know, to just fill it all the way up. But if we need, boom, we can add a bit more. Let's put these guys back in there. There we go. And heating up all four of them like that. Again, if I don't, if I only use three of them or two of them, that's fine. They can go cold sitting there and then we'll just reheat them when we're ready for them. But yeah, that's going to take a minute. So you can see it's almost like sectioned off thanks to this here in terms of rooms. We could turn this into nice three little sectioned rooms, but I think it'll end up as two. One large one for our blacksmithing and smelting operation, and then over here, like I said, might be my bedroom or something. But anyway, let's give these a little bit of time. They're getting hot, but I want them nice and, you know, basically as hot as they can get, because we're going to pull them out and put them right here and start hammering away at them and they will cool down over time so we got to be be careful work quickly but most importantly let them be patient and let them get real hot okay these have stopped their temperature rise at 1100 c now very importantly i do have my tongs of course in my offhand otherwise we wouldn't be able well you can pick them up but he'll get injured and he'll drop it immediately so don't do that and let's see, there's a lot of stuff here, as you can see. We can go ahead and make, you know, spears, shovel heads, wrenches. But right now, we're focused right here, nails and strips. 
I might do eight of these. Let's see how that works. So we need our hammer. Okay. Let's see, no, I definitely don't want to sit down. So this is different. This is very interesting, unique. We pull up our F menu. Why is it that working? Uh, oh, there we go. It needs to be over this. So we'll pick a direction which to hammer this stuff out. Now, obviously, I need to hammer this one to the left. There we go. So now that one's in perfect place. Boom. Okay. Now we want to hammer these up. So let's hit F again. Switch to up. Might need, then we can rotate it so I don't have to constantly change out. There we go. I'll use this. Rota push these up, up, and down. Boom. There we go. Do the same routine over here. Okay, let's flip it. Excellent. Now we're going to push these ones off to the sides real quick. So let's go. That's beautiful. All right, that'll work. And let me flip it. Get this over here. Okay. It is cooling down as we work, but we're going at a pretty good pace. I can tell we are going to need another ingot for this. Not going to quite have enough. But, all right, let's flip it. I was wondering how this would work. The last batch of nails that I made was strictly four of them now these pieces i don't think we can get them out of that groove maybe maybe let's see if we can do that still not going to be enough huh let's put that down yep okay now we go back to the hammer all right what what tool are we on let's go up again we're probably gonna i mean we're gonna end up losing some of our hot metal here but that would happen too, even if we just crafted up four. I just, I don't know if this is like more efficient. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a plan here. Let's, um, all right, let's switch over to the down. Dang it. Okay, there we go. And we want to switch over again. There we go. Down. Okay. Starting to get the hang of it. I'm going to move slightly. Let's take care of this end real quick and we'll be able to rotate it. Let's go down. Over. Beautiful. There we go. Definitely using a lot of the second nugget. All right. There's three pieces there. Got to be careful where you, where you click to. Very important, especially when you're removing stuff. That's one thing I've found. Gotta be very careful. All right, there we go. So we've got one side done. Let me finish the rest and then we'll get together and we'll split this and finish it. Okay, there we go. So every piece is filled. Now we come to this tool over here, the split. And we basically knock these pieces out. Yeah, I wasted a good port portion of that second ingot. Oh, there goes my hammer. But, I mean, I gotta be careful here. Wait, is it set wrong? Yeah, I think it reset that tool whenever I switched hammers. That's interesting. Okay, gotta be careful. If we knock a piece out, I don't know if we can't recover from it or what. Like a bad piece and I'll have something to fill it with. Whew, that would suck. All right, there we go. Well, I think ultimately it probably doesn't matter if we wasted a little bit of those that second ingot because ultimately we would have to use two ingots to make eight, you know, whether it's four twice or a single eight. You know, you're going to need two ingots regardless. But all right, so I'm probably not going to worry too much about Cleaver. That's interesting. Hammerhead, like, hmm. Scales, prospecting pick. I might just leave these ingots for now. Because if we get real desperate, I could... Let's put them back in there. Yeah, I could just hammer them into a pick. You know, if I break both my picks before I find more copper, 
which is possible. I hope it doesn't happen, but it's possible. And, you know, there's several other things like the hammer. If I desperately need another hammer, we can do that. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but we'll see. So, what don't I need? Okay, don't need the hammer anymore. Let's put that away. We're definitely taking this pick with us. Because, like I said, we're going to plan to do a big mining expedition, I think. that's Whether it's for copper or we should be looking to make bronze as well. That's going to be the next stage we need to get to in terms of our metal progression. So, we definitely want the prospecting pick. And I'm going to take this pick here, too. That'll be... We'll have a backup there. Okay, and of course, we're taking our spears. I'm just going to leave the red meat here at some point. We're not leaving immediately, but... We're going to have to sort out our food and stuff too, but I just want to get prepared. Maybe a few more torches wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, the reason, though, I made some of these nail strips is I'd like to make a couple more chests. Don't think I'm... Let me just grab this whole stack. I don't think I'm going to use every single one of these strips. Oh, they're still hot, too. Oh, okay. You know what? Can we place these? Yes. Let's play some, because I think I need to, come here. Yeah, we need to let them cool, probably. And if I put my tongs down before they're cool, it'll probably burn them. So let's put these tongs away. Okay, don't want to be carrying things in the offhand unless you really need to. I've been told that it actually causes you to get hungrier when you're hauling stuff around in your offhand like that, including shields and things too. All right, so let's see. What is the recipe for these? Let's go to the boards. So what I'm looking to make is right here, the wooden chest. Yeah, now if we craft up two of these and put them into our crafting menu, we can make the double chest, our trunk, which is more efficient. It actually does give us more spaces it compared to if you just two, put two individuals side by side. So what I think I'd like to do is make two more of those here. That's going to be a total of four of our bronze. So that'll wipe out that one. And then I think I'd like to make two more. But I'm going to keep them separate as one small chest to replace that right there, that storage vessel. And then I think I'd like to have a chest outside here. Yeah, I was thinking about just using these baskets here that we've got on the floor, moving these outside and putting like my seeds in and stuff. But honestly, they're pretty damn pitiful. <laughs> I mean, they really don't hold much, you know, and a single chest still blows one of those away. So, yeah, I think it'll just be easier to have our like some of our odds and ends like, you know, wood pan maybe if I don't want to have it sitting there crooked. But looks like our chickens are holding up pretty well. They eat despite the cold weather, so that's good to know. Always keeping an eye on those chickens. Well, our guy is getting hungry again, and it's time to go into our cellar. Look at this. It's actually looking kind of sparse in here, isn't it? All the pots are gone. I've been nibbling away at this, too, so I'm trying to make sure I rotate properly, so looks like some of these are the way to go. I'm just going to grab one. I now, don't worry, I do have a bunch of grain still down in our area, down in the cellar under the house, so we can make plenty of porridge, although that's not going to be a great way to live. <laughs> that looks good. I like that. Yeah, it's not going to be fun just eating porridge with half rancid berries, if that's what it comes down to, but maybe that bear will keep us alive for a while with its bush meat and stuff. Made a table here, too, because I, as I understand it, we'll need a table to, I guess make the dough i'm not sure but we'll get into that of course of course and i actually really like the table now i might do something with it have several of them i don't know instead of this we'll see we'll see but it's probably going to be helpful too for things like this let's see can i put that on there oh yeah that looks so good i love the furniture it's so satisfying in a game like this where it's very difficult crafting is gated behind some difficult to come by tools and technology and stuff but once you get there man start laying it out it looks so good starts coming together 
I really appreciate everybody who's been tuning in, helping me out with the comments, of course, even if you're just watching the videos too. I also appreciate you very much. We are going to be doing more live streams, guys. So if you're interested in tuning in for those, check the community page on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing schedules every week. I'll post for what days, what times, and what games we'll be live streaming. Of course, the Let's Play series will continue as well. Don't worry about that, guys. But I think that'll do it for today's episode. Finishing off strong, hopefully, and continuing strong. So I appreciate you guys. Once again, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching the video, everybody. I just want to take a moment to recognize my Patreons. As you can see, I've put their names in gold because they are, in fact, more precious than that shiny metal. Now I'd like to take a moment to invite you to also support the channel. For as little as 2 5 or $10, you gain access to all my content early and ad-free over on Patreon, as well as a private Discord server with me and my other Patreons where we do some giveaways and have great conversations. But once again, thank you, everybody and I'll see you on the next one.